All right, welcome to episode one of Legend of Dragoon. We are resuming a play that was unfortunately lost. About an hour of gameplay was lost, so all of my witty repartee will be no longer here. Twitch just recently, within the last week, uh, decided they aren't keeping existing stuff. So we're going to have to play for the first hour again. Oh well. This time, we'll be backing it up on YouTube. Alright. Let's get started. Indeed. Put her in custody. Is this really necessary? It is His Majesty Emperor Dole's command to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. My mouth did not match that voice acting. So now we're into the meat proper. Uh, some changes since last time. Um, I'm still using the same broadcast software. And Rose is still badass, of course. Look at that outfit. Only needs one leg covered. It's all good. Uh, I lowered some of my frame rate because there was a weird slowdown when uh, the battle animation started. And uh, you could hear the wall mounted AC unit in my apartment. So I've uh, turned that off. We have a fan running, which you may or may not hear in the background, but that would explain that. Just in case, my girlfriend is still sitting next to me for the next uh, ten minutes or so. That's right. Yeah, yeah, she's my quality control here. She can go hang out with uh, her girlfriends and draw pretty pictures, because she's awesome like that. <laughs> Awesome. I'm very awesome. Hold your applause, people. I'm going to cross my arms in dramatic defiance of this newspaper report. <clears throat> my quality control says that the audio is coming through really well. There we go. I will be making liberal use of the frame rate jump in this, so I'm sorry if that bothers people, but 
it is a 60 hour plus JRPG, so I will do everything I can to shave as much time off as possible. It won't really be voice acting or redundant narration. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> and this is the Mantis Dragon, who is badass. This whole sequence reminds me of the start of Monster Hunter. It's like, here's this big thing, let's never talk about it again. I know, it doesn't look like a dragon at all. It looks like a big old insect. The village! Da -da -da. The man must be a victim of Japanese writing to leave key points out. I will say, this is pretty good. I just finished watching G Gundam Season 2, and um, this writing is calibers ahead. Just take my word for it. It's one, still a, one of my favorite Gundam series, just because of how silly it is. You're gonna die soon. It's not like you're the main character or anything. <laughs> Alright, welcome to the battle system. So, all the characters in this game, with the exception of one, use a real-time combat where you attack and then you have to line up and time your button presses. It's all just one large quick time event in retrospect, but in 2000, this was stoic. So, here's how it goes. The squares just have to line up, essentially. And this is one of the things I really do like about the game is that it doesn't just have you sit around with an uneventful scenario. You're not just pressing a button, cycling through your menu lists. In fact, there's a very small amount of menu. Now, it's funny that they call this village Outlying, because it's actually right next to the enemy capital. Like, when we get to the world map, it'll be more clear, but this is the closest settlement to the enemy capital and to one of their major prison systems. And yet it's part of the enemy nation. So weird, you know? Okay, so we're going to overwrite that save that was... Unfortunately, an hour of lost time. 
little advancement. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. But, what can you do? But it just lost. Now this is the city from the opening sequence, but I'm noticing that like there's only the two panels here. And the city looked way bigger. Like there were a lot of houses. It was not a small village in that cutscene. What's wrong with love interest? exactly what the dead guy said. Ah! Kill the one before they go, the other one will run away. Pretty cool. How the magic system works. Uh, you might have seen me pick up burnouts. Um, they are magical items, and they they're used but rather than cast. And now we're gonna start accelerating the game. Unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna work out well. All right, heal. The healing potions in this actually restore a percentage rather than a flat number, so they remain as relevant as the game goes on. I probably didn't need to heal or do that time blocking. I should have just attacked and killed him. Ugh. Level two, and we get our first new combo of the game. I'll actually be switching over to that in a minute. So they mentioned there the journey that the main character is on, and they'll talk about that a little bit more. But basically, he just left town recently um, for about five years. So he feels extra guilty right now that he wasn't there to protect love interest. But you know, there's nothing he can really do about it. I mean, it's an entire army. It's all just kind of foolish. Now there we go. There are these things called Stardust, and they're situated all throughout the, the game world. 
they're all hidden, uh, usually only in populated areas. And they, at every 10, a specific character is going to give you a special item that only exists from them. And all five of them unlock a super boss, or all 50 unlock a super boss. This guy, in the armor, will teach you the combat system. In case you had difficulty with the first two bosses, they'll tutorial you there. I don't need it, so we're just going to skip right past it. I just wanted to point him out. And this thing is so weird. It's like a volcano on its side. Or maybe an Easter Island head. Love interest is thrown in a jail cell. And I'm pretty sure that head bob is supposed to represent sobbing. Which is kind of cool. I do like it. Dude, how dare you tell me to follow orders? I'm gonna throw my dudes off this cliff. Ah! <laughs> Which is still working on for uh, her portfolio stuff, it looks like. What? Nothing. Just didn't expect you to uh, be here so long. I'm sorry. The guy's is still here. Pay attention to what he's doing. <laughs> no one's watching this yet. Oh, but they're going to look back and see where it all started. It is possible, mm -hmm. which would be amusing. All right, so let's see. Let's kill the assassin cop. What? Never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to all right, there is Volcano, and look at it do a whopping 4 damage. When they're in multiple uh, combats like that, multiple combos, you can actually get a counterattack. We have to press a different button. Similar timing, but switching from between them really for actually doing muscle memory. Now, that guard is awesome because... It heals you for 10% of the total life, which is great. But it also um, reduces the damage you take by half, prevents you from being afflicted with a status. If you know what's going to ha come up ahead of time, wow. It's like, oh, this guy's going to poison me? No, he's not. These are not squirrels, these are bunny rabbits. Maybe you should like the bunny rabbits and not care about the squirrels. Yes, I want to buy something. And we will go ahead and sell off some items. Now, you can see that we have 9 out of 32. The item system in this doesn't have things stacked. You have a finite number. But you have 255 total um, for weapons and armor amongst the characters you will acquire. No, uh, default is no. Default is I don't need to have a tutorial here. But there you go. You have a guy with the tutorial system and the combo system, like, right there. But they, they do thrust you right into the combat with some relatively easy stuff. Now, Charm Potion will reduce the encounter rate. I don't think I've ever used it. It's worth, like, two... That um, arrow, it's funny, I, I pointed at it like you could see me, but the arrow indicates how close you are to an enemy. Blue, then 
yellow, then red. Once you get to red, you will end up having something else. So I guess I should have waited on the charm potion and actually used it when I hit red. Didn't seem to wipe my threat meter. Uh, for the time being, I'm not going to be buying uh, items. And I'm not going to use the magic system, really. It's not that good. Um, especially not for dart. And I can I can look at that right now, actually. Statuses. Yeah, attack, defense, magic. Attack. He's pretty much neutral across the board. He's got an average speed, and he's got good magic attack, defense, uh, like, as a whole. But since his magic attack stat isn't that great compared to his regular, it's usually just better to attack, really. Five gold is almost nothing, but there are some very expensive equipments in this game. And I'd like the option to have those. As you use the combos successfully, they actually level up, increasing the amount of damage they gain and the amount of like points they gain. Um, they all have a value for skill points, which it doesn't come into effect till later. But they do increase in damage. And sorry, we'll show that too. Yeah, like volcano does 200 damage versus 150% damage, and that's, if you complete the full combo, it does that kind of damage bonus, versus what a normal swing would do. I've got no time for anything but a flashback. Go away, unicorn wolf, dog, thing. Funny thing is, we see that in the flashback game right now, but I don't think it's an enemy that can spawn in this location. 